Hi there guys and welcome to another edition of In the Green Room with Dan Green. This time as you can see I'm joined by long time Nottingham Panthers and great British international forward Robert Lakovic. I'm going to be talking to him in a second about a host of subjects, about his past, growing up here, recent games and a little bit of an insight into the dressing room with some of the other guys. So first of all welcome Rob. Hi, thanks for having me. So first of all, we're obviously going to take a look back at the weekend, uh, mixed results, obviously a huge win on Saturday, league and cup, so four points, that was great. Um, what did you make of the game Saturday? Yeah, it was a tough one. Um, obviously, we didn't manage to get many shots in the game, but I think we showed a side to the team this year that um, we can play good, solid defensive game. And um, it's important to know that you can score, but to know that if you have to, if you have to shut it down and stop other teams generating any offense, then we can do that. Yeah, I think obviously over the years, not have been known as a real offensive sort of juggernaut team, but like you said, it's great to know that in those situations, the big games, we can you know lock it down at the back and come away with the points. And then obviously Sunday into Sheffield. Yeah, well they're a good team. Obviously, um, they've had a good result in the Champions League recently, and we knew it was going to be a tough game. Uh, now we've played them once, got that out of the way. You kind of learn how they play and come well this weekend we'll be we'll be ready yeah i think definitely they have a bit of that european you know speed and skill style so like yeah, you say we've seen them now a lot of swedes um but yeah like like you mentioned playing them again this saturday at home uh, the motor point hopefully it'll be sold out and be a great atmosphere um you know anything we can do differently how do you how do you see this one going yeah i think maybe we've just got to take our game to them a little more rather than being a bit more laid back and seeing how they play use our game, our speed, our, our grit and our speed going forward and I think it'll be a different different game this Saturday. Uh, and obviously your position, if the fans maybe have or haven't noticed out there, you've moved position slightly, you've been playing yeah. centre for the season so far. Um, how have you found that and any sort of tough areas you found or areas you found you know, good or bad? Yeah, obviously um, it's, a, it's, well, it's quite a lot different to playing on the wing. On the wing you're kind of straight up, straight down, a lot of stops and starts. In the middle, you can't, you're uh, you're always moving. You got to have your head on a head on a swivel and kind of know where everyone is at all times. So there's a lot more skating. Um, taking the face-offs is is what I'm struggling with at the minute. Yeah, I've seen you obviously practicing with uh, Mo and maybe Cartsy and Larry, a couple of the more experienced ones. So I'm sure, obviously, a few few more games at that and you'll be awesome at it so we're just going to turn our attention obviously to the current team this year yep. I'm just going to throw some rapid fire questions to you right. if you can't think of anyone I'll obviously try and help you out but just the first person that comes to your head and we'll see if we can find a little bit more about the team so best dressed person on the team you can't say you uh, I think I think the boys this year are giving it to uh, Linz to Eric oh he does have that Swedish style yeah, yeah. worst dressed uh, it can't be me no, I'm going to give that to Corey. Oh, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> I like that one. Um, best practice player? Uh, I like Karts this year. I think yeah. he's always, the way he handles the puck is just unreal. And, and he always scores goals, no matter yeah, what. I'm sure you love him. Yeah. Uh, worst practice player? It's tough to say. I think I think it it changes each week, even, even day to day. So I can't, I can't pick one. Okay, most intelligent? Um, you can't say me. I can say me. You can say you. You are pretty intelligent. We'll go with old Mo because he's wise. Wise. I'm and wise. last one I'm going to go with future coach. Anyone in the team that you think will make a great coach? Obviously Clark has just transitioned into assistant coach, but I think uh, I think Steve would be a good coach, Stevie Lee. Um, yeah, he teaches well, doesn't he? Demonstrates well and stuff yeah, like that. I think he sets a good example with the way he conducts himself on yeah. and off the ice. So I think that Constant might be professional. A, most of the time. Okay, now last thing we're going to talk about, I didn't want to talk about this, but Rob did bring it up. Rob, uh, how old were you when you first started playing for the Panthers? Kind of pro That's properly? Kind of, yeah, probably around 17, 18, I'd say. Okay, now tell the people out there who you, you scored your first ever professional goal against. I, I remember it clearly. Um, I think me and Sam Bullis got our first goals in that game. Um, and I, I believe it was against Basingstoke, and I think... I think the goalie was uh, a Dan Green. I don't know if you heard of him. Was it a really good goal? At least was it a really good goal? Yeah, you, you can remember. Yeah, it was a long time ago <laughs> for me. <laughs> no, yeah, it was just a, a shot from the point. A nice little flash screen, as we call it. And I, tip, I tipped it in probably through your legs, I think. Oh. All right, well, there you go. Rob's been wanting to tell that story for 10 years, so we'll get it out in public. So thanks again uh, for cheering and watching Green Room uh, with Dan Green. I'd like to thank my 
co-partner here, Rob Lakovic, for joining me for some great questions. Um, hopefully we'll see you at the Motorpoint Arena this Saturday um, for the big game against the Sheffield Steelers in the Challenge Cup. Uh, if you've got tickets, great to see you there. If you haven't, uh, check out the link below. Good and seat's still available. Good seat's still available. Thanks again for being loud and proud. We'll see you next week. We all want to be as free as the birds, but maybe the birds want to be as free as us. The all-new Fiat 124 Spider, more fun than flying. Cause I'm free like a bird.